Hello, this showcase created by Intrigen aims to demonstrate the capabilities and value of Power BI. This demo will show you how easily senior management and executives at a wine distributor can get insights on their shipments and their event performance so they can make faster and more accurate decisions to improve their business processes and future sales. Let's begin. This first report focuses on wine shipments. It provides senior management insights across the different regions they operate in and how their warehouses are performing with their orders. On the left hand side, you will see a set of filters that let you slice by sales order date, delivery date, status, and country. On the top, you will see a set of important KPI measures, such as perfect order rate. We can see that this value is concerning, so let's take a deeper look. On the left hand side, we will use the date slicer to filter to the last six months of orders, and we want to look at only the delivered orders. Bring your focus to the total orders by warehouse and shipment status chart. We can see that the Australian warehouse has the highest percentage of late shipments. Click on the red bar to filter the remaining charts. We notice that August has the highest number of late shipments orders. Chardonnay has the highest late shipments as seen in the tree map and the word cloud and most of these orders are the 12-pack units. Senior management can speak with the Australian warehouse manager to find a way to improve the order shipment times for this product and investigate whether there is inefficient order processing in the warehouse or consistent delays from the supplier. This report focuses on the performance of wine tasting events. Similarly to the wine shipments report, we have a set of filters on the left that you can use to slice the data, and on the top we have important KPI measures. At a first glance, we can see that Australia brings in the most revenue, as seen on the map visual. And wine dinners and special events bring the most revenue, as most bottles sold are at this type of event. We can also see that the overall average event rating across all regions is doing well at 7.45, but there is room for improvement. On the other hand, we can see that the UK is bringing the least revenue from wine tasting events. Let's take a further look at why this may be the case. Select UK in the country slicer. We can see there has been a total of 86 events, of which are mostly informal walk-around tastings. We can see that wine dinners and special events are the least. We know previously that this event type has been successful elsewhere, so we can pass this information on to the UK marketing team and try to promote these type of events. We can also see that the UK has a below average event rating overall. And for their hosts, we can see in the table that there is only a single host with an above average rating as highlighted by the conditional formatting. This could be due to a lack of training for the event hosts. This information should be sent to the UK event managers so that these hosts can get some training courses. Thank you for watching this showcase. This demo highlights how users in your business can easily access insights with just a few clicks that can lead to greater visibility and quick and accurate decision making. To learn more about this, please visit the website shown on screen. Thank you.